So religious people want to know why atheists, uh, you know, talk about God and, and put the religion down. Well, because we're intellectual thinkers and when we, we and the people that read the Bible, to them it's, it's fairy tales. It doesn't make sense. And it's, and it's good to make a comedy. Think about it. Because you have this God came, no, just come out of the blue. And started just creating shit. Ah, create beasts. Ah, create plants. Ah, create animals. Ah, ah. They put Adam and Eve. Get, take a, um the rib out of Eve and put and, and put in the Adam and make a flood and flood the whole fucking world and destroy everything. You know, not only that because. Well, I think the number one thing is. This is why, we're against your God. We make fun of your God we're against your earth one. Religion harms people. It's harmed the world. It's started too many wars. That's the number one. If you want to get serious about it, religion harms people. Then you can throw the comedy aspect. Because we find it as fairy tales. We we just don't see it. We, we Everything that has been by the religion has been proven by science. You know? And and it's kind of good, and it gives us a relief, and especially the people that were indoctrinated, and they're free, and they're happy. Uh, you know, I've read so many posts, you know, they says, oh, I was, you know, indoctrinated, I was in so much religion, but now I'm free, you know, I'm so happy, I'm an atheist, thank God I'm an atheist, you know, pun intended. Um, so, it, it's helping people. And um, the freedom of the religion, and um, it's just, uh, and it's also, I know fear. You know, atheists, we have no fear of God, we have no fear of anything in the supernatural hell, demons, purgatory. So we can make fun of it because, might as well, because all that stuff in the Bible, well, number, number one, it's not a good God, it's an evil God. I mean, you could read for yourself cover to cover, you know million people, plagues, just killing livestock, you know, kill people for stony children, stupid laws, marry the rapist, uh, um, kill people for starting the fire, um, it's just, it's, it's a, it's ludicrous and insane, and that's why people can make a comedy of it, comedy gives relief, it might offend people, but in this day and age, we're what, in the 21st century? We need to get over it. When is Jesus coming back? Never. <laughs> when is God going to reveal himself? Never. Only through people's personal experiences have been deluded. It's not, it's what they think. And then people say, well, religion brings comfort to people. Well, they need a crutch. Maybe you can have comfort a different way. I'm just saying. It's up to you guys. I mean, you guys want to live in the past? You don't want to evolve? That's your choice. But I think TJ had a, uh, the Amazing Atheist had a good point. The, we, the reason why the atheists kind of really upset a guy was because you try to force your religion on everything. Politics, law, government. That's a no-no. And you can't do that. I think he made a good point when he says, if, or a lot of atheists make a good point. If you practice your religion in private, without disturbing anybody, um, that's your choice. You're free to believe what you believe. You know, I think it made a good point. It's like, you know, nobody's putting a bomb or a gun to your head and say, believe, 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 you know. You're free to believe what you believe. You want to believe in superstition? Go ahead. But the problem lies in a, in a, a lot of atheists fight, fighting the movement is because you're trying to enforce religion on everything. That's a no-no. That's, that's, can't do that. There's a limit, and like you said, you know, if if you didn't force religion on law and government and everything, 
then there would be no problem. Sure, we'd be against your God, but hey, you're all human. You're, you're, you're free to believe what you want, but you can't cross the line. And then when you cross the line, not only that, technically you guys started the, um, the religion, the hate bashing, because all along years, you know, always sciences, you know, you don't believe in Jesus, you go to hell, you repent, you don't go, you go to hell. We're just retaliating back. You guys started it, remember. So, no need to hate. I mean, it's your guys' fault. Like I said, you can't control. You can't control the, the economy. You know? And if the society becomes one day either majority atheist or all atheist, we're not controlling people. That's just the way the outcome is going to be eventually. <laughs> Regardless of atheist movement. Because atheism and science go together, you know? And and this, and like I said, even if there's no atheist movement, the science that will keep on explaining things more and more, when the guy gap gets smaller, science will actually over, will actually be the defeat of religion. Not the atheism. The atheism is 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 to show um, that your Bible and religion is false. But then you you know people won't, won't change their beliefs. But science will will destroy the religion because science is what makes things explainable. So, and this is America, right? Freedom of speech. Land of the free, home of the brave. You're free to do what you want. Um, you know, I mean, I mean, we're not promoting hate speech. We're not promoting hate. We're just pr promoting that we think your religion's ridiculous, your God's ridiculous, when you're enjoying our life. And not only that, to show the people that were indoctrinated or, or religious and were happy to be free and became atheists to enjoy enjoy the life too. You know, comedy always making fun of everything. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. It's um it's just kinda of time to move on, you know. It's uh that's a lot that's a lot boils down to. Uh, comedy is good for the for the heart, for the soul, if you believe yourself. <laughs> but, um, that's what it boils down to. You know, <clears throat> don't force religion on the politics, government, and laws, and everything will be cool. You know, you just kind of, you in the sense want to want to become a different society, a controlling society. You know, um, so you guys are having the problems. 